a new space race, this time to be the first country with a nuclear power plant on the moon. NASA is moving ahead with plans to build a small lunar reactor. For the acting head of the U.S. Space Agency, Sean Duffy, time is of the essence. To properly advance this critical technology to be able to support a future lunar economy, high power energy generation on Mars, and to strengthen our national security in space, it is imperative the agency move quickly. Duffy wants the reactor launched by 2030. That urgency driven by concerns that China and Russia could beat the U.S. to the punch. They're currently working on their own lunar nuclear plant that NASA fears could lead to the U.S. being denied access to certain areas of the moon. The planned American reactor would be required to generate at least 100 kilowatts of electricity, enough to power about 80 U.S. households. A modest output, but crucial for long-term stays, as one lunar night lasts for two Earth weeks. It's part of NASA's Artemis mission, a multi-stage program aimed at establishing a permanent human presence on the moon as a stepping stone for further exploration not just go to the moon and come back, but be able to go there and stay there for a while, and then eventually, you know, use what we learned uh, going to the moon to get to Mars. It comes, though, as NASA is set to see its overall budget cut by nearly a quarter next year, as the Trump administration seeks to focus the agency's goals on human spaceflight and away from scientific missions like robotic space probes and climate research. Artemis's first lunar landing is tentatively scheduled for 2027, but that may be an overly ambitious goal, as much of the technology involved, including a new lunar lander made by SpaceX, has yet to be tested.